Welcome. Thank you so much for joining us, and you're about to fall you're asleep on me. You're yawning. I was just mentioning that I didn't eat any lunch. My blood sugar's kind of crashed, but it's okay because we're going to cook today. That's right. We're cooking. We're going to show is hot the today. BPW ladies, the business professional women, are here to talk about their omelet brunch that's coming up, and we're going to cook an omelet. We're going to cook an omelet. But better, we're going to cook the dessert omelet, the one we pour the brandy on there, mm. and then poof, light it on fire. So let's get our fire extinguishers ready. We're going to get our fire extinguishers ready, so we're going to we're going to do some cooking. Should we later. call the uh, Mountain Home uh, Fire Department? Uh, what is that guy that comes on and talks to us, Captain Randy, or what was his name? Eddie, Captain Eddie, Captain Eddie okay. comes on, and, and we should probably have had him on here today, just in should case. Have, just to cover, <laughs> yeah, just to Let, cover all wait. our bases. Is that supposed to be sitting there? What this here? Yeah, the sonic thing. No, yeah. it's not. Sorry I didn't think that. so. That's I just my big I gulp. To, to, it's your big gulp. So anyway, uh, we discussed that we have a really, really big we show, it's so I don't cool. get to blab like I usually blab this yeah. week. I don't get to talk about the fact that I got Lou Brock's autograph. You did? I did. I got you Lou did? Brock's autograph when I was in Florida. What did you get it on? A ball? Uh, or? No, just a piece of paper I had in my oh, purse. Okay. I didn't have a, I didn't think to bring a ball. You need to bring a ball everywhere. I just had a piece of paper in my purse. Especially when you go to a game. Yeah, yeah. You always have to have a baseball just in case. So anyway, but I did get Lou Brock's well, autograph. You know, they, they've got a special guy that dirties those balls up every game. They put, have a special mud that they put on each ball. They don't. They don't play. They play ball. They play the ball games with new balls, but uh -huh. they they have a special formulated mud. It's in a tub that they have a special guy. He he muddies when them. When and why does he muddy them? Because see, there was a reason why they do that. Because I have a I have a Chipper Jones fouled off ball. Yeah, I think it's because the pitchers can't hold it properly. It, it's too new or too slick or something. They oh, want it to be. so they kind of dirty. Yeah. Well, they do the little rub, rub, yeah. rub thing, yeah. yeah, that kind of stuff. But, yeah. But they have but a guy that does that. But baseball season starts. Yeah. Like, like tomorrow night, let's see, what did I hear? I think the Springfield Cardinals start tomorrow night or something like that. Mm -hmm. So uh, baseball's starting back up. That's yeah. always a happy time for me. I love baseball. Mm -hmm. You like to go to the games? I love to go to the games. I yeah. love to go to the games. That's an experience. I watch them on television. I'm one of those people who really does like yeah. to watch baseball. Oh, but it, there's nothing like me at the ballpark. Yeah, but you, you don't actually sit and watch it. I mean, you get up and move around and at home. Yeah, I mean, you sit like and it, watch the yeah, three or four like hour I, games. Sure, unless it's uh, commercials. Okay. Yeah, I know. I, I love baseball. I watch the game. Okay. I don't wander in and out. I watch okay. the game. Some people, you know, just like to hear it in the background. Yeah, well, I can keep it on like the radio or something like that, and I'm fine and dandy. Yeah. But no, yeah. no, no. So that was one of my big. Highlights. Your favorite team is the. Uh, Cardinals? Cardinals and the Braves. I've been a Braves fan a uh, long, long time. When they first came on TBS years ago, mm -hmm. when cable first mm -hmm. came to this mm -hmm. part of the country. And uh, do this. And this yeah. Uh, uh. So anyway, uh, you could watch them all the time. Mm -hmm. And the Cardinals yeah. weren't on TV as much. Yeah. And yeah. so uh, my aunt, who lived in town, who lived out in the country, she had cable, and I used to watch the Braves mm -hmm. play. And especially mm -hmm. back in the early 90s, I really became a humongous Braves fan. I, tell, I watched every single game because I had a satellite, and I bought the MLB package. If Bobby Cox changed the lineup, the batting, it, I knew it. I knew the oh, really? batting orders. I knew what to expect. Mm -hmm. So, did, did you, one yeah. of those people that I was that a eat. seamer. They're called seamers. Yeah, did, avid baseball fans right. are seamers. Did you like chew the sunflower seeds and no, not much of the sunflower stuff, cedar. But when I do go to a ball game, I eat a hot dog. That's yeah. the only time I oh, ever five bucks a, a, a touch piece. a hot dog. I can't stand the thought of eating a hot dog. But if I go to the ball game, I have hmm. to have a hot dog. That's just, you got to have one. Of course, now they sell everything. So it's, it's almost like yeah. take some of the fun out of it because you can get anything you want in a ball mm -hmm. game. But you still find a good hot dog. Yeah. We need to move on, though. I know. we got a lot of stuff going got on. Got a big so. show today. You want to go down really the list? Really big show. Yes. Really, really big mm -hmm. show. We have Michelle Byler. Byler, yes. Of the Arkansas area on aging of northwest Arkansas. And then we have Billy Major and Anna Doyle who are here with the Baxter County Extension Services. And then, drum roll please, <laughs> we have Betty Gould and Carol Abel who are here with the Business Professional Women. And we are going to cook an omelet. And I assured them that they get so excited when we get to eat things. Uh, and fire excites all of us. So we're going to have food and fire. Big wow. fun. So uh, make sure you stick around for that. I'll and then excited. we have uh, Karen Westby and Alice Snyder who are here with the local Audubon Society. They're called the Audubon Society of North Central Arkansas. Uh, I have uh, been at several of their meetings and they're a really cool group and, and all kinds of stuff. And then finally we have Karen McKee and Steve Esposito who are here with the Twin Lakes Showcase which is coming up. And it actually, Karen gave us a little thing. It says, I can't read it, Daniel. 
hand without my glasses on. Celebrating life in the Twin Lakes is what the Twin Lakes Showcase is all about. So they've taken their mission and expanded it mm -hmm. and done all kinds of groovy stuff. And so then, don't go away because at the end of the show, you'll meet some more Boy Scouts. Troop Pack 165 is now coming this to is say the, hello. Is this the same one we had? No, this is a different, different one. Pack. They okay, saw good. those oh, boys boy. and they wanted to come. Tonight. So this one is Cub Scout Pack 165. We'll be here to wave and say hello at the very okay. end. Good. Let's so get going. So we're busy. we got lots to do today. Let's take our first break and get right into the show. And when we come back, we'll be talking with Michelle, Michelle, Michelle Byler. Byler. Yes. Mm -hmm. Michelle Byler. For the Area Agency on Aging. Stay with us.